today I'm going to do a Mother's Day gift guide video. I've never done this before and I always get requests for it every year. So I thought this year I would just kind of do a vlog talking about some gifts I've given my mom in the past and just some ideas that I think would be really great gifts for you to give your mom. Mother's Day is this Sunday, so May 13th in America. Pinecone's like, I'm gonna get my mom something because I'm Pinecone's mom. If you haven't gotten her anything yet, then you probably should start trying to figure out what you're going to get her. And if you wanna just like spend time with your mom that day and not spend any money, honestly, I think the majority of moms would probably want that over anything else. These ideas are just if you want to get her some sort of gift or make her something or just kind of give something in addition to spending time with her. And this is off subject, but don't mind that my eyes are a little bit red. I think I'm actually allergic to the eyelash glue that I used today. I used a new brand and my eyes have just been really irritated and red. So if you're wondering, that's why they're a little red. I probably will not use this lash glue again, but I figured, hey, I'm ready. I might as well do my video. My first suggestion is for those of you that don't have a lot of time, either you're working a lot or you just don't have time to make something, you wanna just run out and get something really simple, pre-made, and just package it up and give it to her. I would say to go to Bath & Body Works and get her a candle or one of those wall plugins. My mom loves those. She can never have enough of these, and this is my favorite scent of the moment. This is a current scent, and I actually purchased this for my mom, so I haven't burned it or anything. It's not for me, it's for her but this is peach Bellini and I love this scent so much it smells like peaches it's very fresh in springtime but it also has a hint of fizziness to it which is kind of the Bellini part and I love peach Bellinis and my mom loves peach Bellinis so I know that this scent anything with like a drink name in the title my mom I know is automatically gonna like and the description on this says a sweet twist on the classic blend of white peach yellow mandarin and black currant with jasmine and a splash of juicy orange which is pretty pretty um, specific to the scent and I just think it's so like pretty the color is perfect for spring and this scent is sure to make her smile because it's just one of those like super yummy scents and actually speaking not even a mother's day but just in general i liked this scent so much i got my mom one and i also got five of these teeny tiny baby ones these are the smallest ones that they make and it was just so cute i got these for you guys so i'm going to do a giveaway probably on facebook and i'm not sure when it's going to be but it will be in the near future i bought five of these little ones because i thought i would share the love of my scent for this peach bellini because i think it smells so good so i got a couple for you guys as well see you in my mom match the second idea is if you want to go a little bit pricier but still do something just kind of a quick purchase you want to run to the mall get her something nice and be done with it if you don't have a lot of time i would say to get her a perfume set my mom always every year for mother's day wants a perfume set and she always has like her perfume of the moment that she's loving and she is someone who always wants the lotion and the perfume and everything which is kind of funny because i normally just do the perfume like i don't need the whole set but she is very she wants to like layer her scents and really kind of be all encompassing of one scent so the perfume that i have here to show you happens to be the perfume that my mom is currently wearing so i thought that that was very unique and it's a perfume that i've mentioned before but they do have a special gift set right now so i'm going to show you everything that comes in the gift set and it is the DKNY Golden Delicious Perfume, which I've talked about before because I love this one. Out of all of the DKNY perfumes, this one is my favorite. It has more of a sexy nighttime scent to it. And my mom likes it better than the original Be Delicious too. Um, she has both of them and I have both of them. And she's gone back and forth. She's liked the Be Delicious more and then the Golden Delicious. And then she kind of just switches with her mood or with the season but right now she's liking the golden delicious this comes with the 3.4 ounce perfume the 3.4 ounce shimmering body lotion which like i said she always likes to have the matching lotion and then it also comes with a little deluxe purse size mini of the perfume as well which is very cute because it's tiny compared to the big one and you can put it in your purse i know a lot of people whenever they see that i carry perfumes in my purse they're like I don't understand why you would want to put more on because normally it's so strong when you first put it on you want it to linger throughout the day but 
I personally think it's like the perfect kind of pick me up throughout the day so I like having a little one in my purse as well and you can get this at department stores or dkny.com um, and it's just the golden delicious gift set and dkny actually has a scent finder quiz that you can take with your mom's personality and figure out which perfume she would fit best based on her personality if you haven't smelled any of these and kind of know what she would already like and just so you guys know I asked my mom I knew I was gonna film this video so I called her and I was just like what would be an ideal perfect Mother's Day gift for you? I told her I was going to do a video so she knew I wasn't like fishing for ideas so she could just kind of really be objective about it. And her answer was that she would love to have a date night package put together for her where she gets a new perfume and a new lipstick and then a gift certificate to go out to a nice restaurant for two. So her and my dad and then she kind of can dress up with a new lipstick and a new perfume and just kind of feel dressy and sexy for that night. So that's what she would say. So coming from a mother with no, um, no, she was very objective because I told her I'd already purchased her present. So I was just like, in an ideal world, what would it be? And that's what she came up with, which was very interesting and unique. And I thought that I would share it with you guys. So the perfume, the candle are things that you can go out and get at different price levels. If you just want to get something that you can kind of package together and just give. If you want to do something a little bit more time consuming but less money, then you can do something like every mother says they want breakfast in bed, but I don't know, when I was growing up, I was not the best cook and that just didn't end up working out for me. I tried a couple times and it just didn't really work. So something equally as sweet, but maybe a little bit more easy to actually do would be to wake her up in the morning with a new coffee mug with either coffee or hot tea in a fun flavor, whatever one she's more likely to enjoy. And then bring her a new magazine or a new movie or a book. My mom always liked the chicken soup for the mother's soul. Those books are great and every mother I think would like them because they're very like feel good like emotional but very happy emotional if that makes sense so I feel like mothers would really like that and I really like those too I had the kid soul and the teenage soul I think I had two teenage souls and then I had like a girl soul or something those are just really nice books and just tell her to enjoy her morning in bed and give her a little bit of alone time let her enjoy and just be lazy for the morning and you take care of all the responsibilities she might have to do if she normally does certain chores on Sunday morning go ahead and do them for her if you have younger siblings siblings make sure that they are content so that you know she can kind of enjoy it and not be stressed out and just make sure she knows that you will take care of everything and she needs to just relax so that's another little option um, that doesn't cost as much money as maybe a perfume or a candle but it definitely is just as sweet as um, like a purchased gift. It's just kind of whatever you have to give. If you are a really busy person but you have a little bit of money to spend on her, get her something indulgent and if you don't have the money but you have some time and you can really help her out then give her that. Either way she'll understand the gesture. So when I was planning this video I called my mom like I said and she gave me the idea for the date night and I asked her what her favorite presents for me have been in the past and she said there were two that she liked equally and she said the first one was a homemade book that I gave her when I was little and it was probably a book that I made in school and she said it was just made out of cardboard paper and cardboard paper is that right? construction paper and um, every page was like a reason why I loved her and she said that she still has it and loves it and that like was very heartwarming and one of her favorite presents. The second thing that she said she can remember really enjoying was another homemade book that I made her out of construction paper. I was really into that stuff when I was little and it's kind of funny because I clearly still am as I'm about to give you guys an idea and it was a homemade coupon book so I had um, different chores that I was willing to redeem for the coupon so it would be like I'm willing to do the dishes five times with like five little like boxes that I checked off when I would do them and whenever she wanted me to redeem it I would um, she would present me with the coupon and then I would do the chore so it was like wash her car, walk the dog, do the dishes, take out the trash. It was all chores that weren't my regular chores anyway so it wasn't like make my bed because I was supposed to make my bed anyway even though I normally didn't do it but it didn't harm me in adult life because I make my bed every day now but when I was little I didn't like making my bed but yeah 
It was just like cute little chores, even things like rub her back. This year, I thought that I would combine my mom's two favorite things and make her one big adult L book that is, or like the adult version of the book. I have a bunch of different colored construction paper. I'm gonna just cut these in half or maybe even in fourths and make like a little book and hole punch it and tie it together with ribbon. And I'm gonna do it in rainbow colors. So I'll probably do two or three of each color and have it going in order. Do like pink, orange, yellow, green, purple, pink, orange, yellow, green, purple, you know, like alternate the colors. And then I'm going to, when you open it up, on one side it's going to have a reason why I love her. And then on the other side of the same, you know, page, on this page, it's going to have a chore that I'm willing to do. I haven't thought of them all yet. I, this was just an idea that popped into my head that I thought she would really like and I could give it to her next time I'm with her. Since I don't live with her anymore, this idea is more out of nostalgia than anything else. This is just kind of to put a smile on her face and remind her of when I was a little kid and just give her kind of like a cute, colorful thing to laugh about because she'll probably laugh when she opens it. I'm very close to my mom, so um, me and her, we have our, we have a good relationship. So I just thought it would be a good idea if you're younger, if you're still living with your mom, this could be like a legitimate idea to do either a chore coupon book or a reasons I love you or combine them like I'm gonna do this year and just do like I love you because of this so you can redeem this kind of thing. Just like a cutesy, doesn't cost any money but um, she'll appreciate it because it takes time and it shows that you took the time to make her something and that you appreciate her and that you're willing to do things for her, which is really all that a mom wants. If you guys have any other good ideas for what to give your mother, leave a comment below. And if you're still looking for ideas, if you maybe don't think one of my ideas is the perfect idea, then read the comments below and you guys can discuss some more Mother's Day gift ideas. And I'm envious of those of you that get to spend actual Mother's Day with your mom, because I'm not gonna be with my mom on Mother's Day. Even though she just visited and I just got to see her, I'm definitely going to miss her and wish that I could be with her on the actual day. But mom, if you're watching this, I love you. And I will definitely call you on Mother's Day, but I'm also gonna call you like right now because I have a missed call from you. So mom, I'll talk to you in a minute. And the rest of you guys, I'll see you with my next video. Bye.